Well, it's Friday and uh, our interview with the Chief Minister. Our Friday briefings have not been very regular. In fact, I haven't done you since uh, all that Paradise Papers. I don't yes, think. Well, is this your idea, a new, new broom? Is there any new comms person involved? No, it, it, it's purely that you've never been here for don't. all the time on your multinational travels, Paul. I let, I let myself into that one. <laughs> you, I did. You didn't I did. <laughs> okay. I actually have been here. You, you're normally in London. But, yeah. Okay, we, we've got to have a serious... Ships chit passing in the night. Okay, serious yeah. chit-chat about this Paradise Papers. I mean, you, you're very angry about the way we presented the, in, you know, the actual... Uh, press conference. I, I said to you, you know, that we're just reporting on it. I mean, it, it, it went wrong, but you, you're moving on from that, right? You're not yeah, holding well, it against us. The no, press. no, no. Life, life goes on. I mean, there was a series of events which I can never talk about that happened literally minutes before we yeah. went in to do it. And it, it was still the right um, thing to do. A preemptive strike was incredibly important because, um, and I had a lovely letter from Mel Stride, you know, s saying um, it, how good a move it had been, effectively. The International Consortium of Investigative Journalists had gone off to the EU and said this is absolutely disgraceful what the Isle of Man is doing, on, on top of, of doing their reporting. And um, the British government were able to turn around to the EU and say the Isle of Man has already invited us in to carry out an assessment yeah. of their practices on but, the importation of business jets. But, Mr Quayle, you didn't know the questions or anything. We had that press conference about a, a potential interview that you didn't know what was going to happen. Don't you think... You, I mean, some no, no, advice I, against not doing that press conference in there as well. No, I, I think not everyone was supportive of a preemptive strike. Yeah. And, you know, I try and do things with a consensus. And I made the decision that we would do a preemptive strike. Yeah. It worked massively well for the Isle of Man, so I've got no regrets whatsoever doing that. However, right at the last minute, what should have been a formality, um, the person who was going to give their sign-off to agree to do the um, yeah. investigation you know, on behalf of the UK government got called in to give evidence at short notice. So they had... Um, they couldn't be contacted because uh, I, I think it, we know it, what happened. It now. was it was okay. just one of those things, and you know life goes on. Okay. Sometimes you do it with the best of intentions, oh. and then all of a sudden, out of I'm nowhere, I was worried that you, you were getting a lot of flack, and uh, it got a lot yeah. of views, obviously. But you it, know, at the day, you know, you had a pop of the, the media in in your speech, you know, the, the 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 nation's speech sort of thing. Well, and you said you weren't having a pop at me, but it doesn't matter. No, you, you were having a pop at media, and I was I'm just it, intrigued it, that where we're going. It, it's quite ironic, Paul, that if you look at my State of the Nation um, talk. I mentioned social media. Mm. I never mentioned you. But I never no, mentioned media, the newspapers. Or isn't it? Well, I, I was more, fa you know, Facebook. I, I genuinely believe that Facebook, A, uh, young people get bullied horrendously on it, yeah. but B, the amount of fake news, and, and it's coming out now, you know, but, uh, the American election was... Uh, okay, but you're doing this because of personal experience. I mean, you, you, you mentioned all that because you've been at the, hit, yeah, the hard end of all I, this I'm, business, I'm, right? I'm, I'm, absolutely. Yeah. Do, you want to, do you want to curb that? Do you want to curb the media? Do you, want, you know, what, no, what's well, your I, plans well, for again, this Paul, state? You know, the, the, the media took it that it was an attack on them. It was an attack on social okay. media, okay. not on, on media. Okay. Let's go back to one only on the Paradise Papers in the sense of where are we up to? I mean, has all the dust now settled? Uh, are there more things to come out? How is the aircraft industry after all that knocking? The, the, the aircraft industry is doing really well. They've just won yet another award. So at the time of the investigation, they'd won the 2017 uh, general, uh, the Aviation Industry Award for Best Register. They've now, guess what, we just won it for 2018. Yeah. So business as there usual. There must be some knocks, though. There must have been uh, some wobbles because. Well, it, it, to, to the person in the street in the, in the UK who maybe doesn't understand the situation and, and yeah. takes everything par panorama says as gospel, it, it has damaged us in, in their mind. But to the the business community and and those in, in power, they realised what had gone on, and I'm you know I'm glad to say we I've been over. I had to go over to Westminster an awful lot more and get out. You know, I'd have 10, 12 meetings a day with various MPs on all parties to explain the situation. Once you'd explained it to them, and the fact that we did our preemptive strike yeah. and invited HM Treasury and to carry out an assessment to show that we've got nothing to hide, that went down exceptionally well. Do you regret going on Panorama, though? Because I mean, there's no uh, Chief Minister no, from Jersey no. or Guernsey there. I mean, they almost like... No, well, them well, to no they, 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 they weren't asked. They weren't I, asked? No, they weren't asked. Huh? I was given two opportunities. You know, I, I had two options. You say, no, you're not going to go on, mm -hmm. and then you're classified as a secretive jurisdiction with something to hide, yeah. or you accept to go on where oh. they'll, you know you're going I, to be I, I, bashed. Okay. But, so but, so it, yeah. I took the less of the so two evils. They evils. targeted the Isle of Man, because I assumed, as just watching it, yeah. oh, they haven't got no one there to talk about it, so they're not... No, they targeted to, us. This they was literally targeted the Isle of Man. This is an attack on the Isle of Man. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, and, and therefore, I had to do the panorama. I knew they would edit it down and try to get any weakness whatsoever. Was it whatsoever. like 50 minutes? Of 55 minutes 55. of countless bombardment like and attack. Under a spotlight being yeah, interrogated. And, and it, it was, yeah. You know, it, it would have been good training for the SAS <laughs> sort of thing. But, you know, we kept our calm. And we didn't, it, you know, I've had lots of, of but comments. That, on, I apologise if I have to. You know, yeah, think, oh, that's going to be Well, they good. asked me four times that. Yeah, all right. And, and you, you know, they edit, as I say... 40, 50 seconds of, of editing, you know, yeah. that's, that's all they, they got. They try and, and I knew that's what would happen, but it, it was even worse not to have t done okay. the interview. So we had no option, but equally I was really lucky in that we had a really good interview with BBC Radio 4 Today pro I um, programme. Well. I had emails and letters you, from you all did, over the UK. Yeah, I, I, I had that. a good day in the office on that one, yeah. and that is the most listened to programme. No, Obviously, maybe second to you, Paul, but the most right. watched, the listened chances. to program no, no. In, in Britain. And you were live on that. Yeah. See, that's the difference, That was right? live. They couldn't exactly. edit me. So all the points I wanted to get over. But I, I know some people have said, well, could you not have told Panorama you can only say, you can only use this bit of the interview? It doesn't work like that, it? doesn't does work it? like that, no. no. Um, you went on Manx Radio afterwards, the state broadcaster, and I don't know... When I heard you do your interview, then I heard Alf Cannon. I didn't get the impression, they didn't push it either, that he wasn't wholly supporting you. Now, am I getting that wrong? Or is there a conflict? Because he didn't, I mean, there's people didn't want you to do that interview, blah, blah, blah. But did you get the support you wanted from yeah, him? Yeah, well, well, I have a good, I mean, Alf and myself were friends before, you know, we went into ministerial politics. Everyone has a difference of view. Not everyone wanted the preemptive did strike. He, okay, did he support you enough? Yeah, I'll, 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 Alf is a good support and Treasury okay. Minister, so we had a good relationship. It's just the way it came over, it didn't, when he was asked the question, should he, you have done that interview or something, and he kind of wavered on the answer, but... Right, yeah. well, I, sp I suppose you... you know, he, gave me, he gave a political answer, he didn't, he didn't yeah. say no or anything, he just, well, it just came across like... It, it's one of those things that the, the, it, the panorama was, you, you know, it, it was a load of rubbish. It was an attack, but it was that bigger picture behind the scenes that none of you really knew about, about the attack on the blacklisting yeah. with the code of conduct, the EU code of conduct. That's what this was all aimed at. And we had to be so, at the time, yeah. we had to be so careful that we didn't put a foot wrong in, in saying anything inflammatory, right. that we took it on the chin, but yeah. we were... But you, you've got the UK Treasury coming in, that's another country coming in to have a look at your books, basically. But they, they come in every quarter anyway. Right. But It read kind of bad, right, I suppose, in that well, sense. No, so well, no, it, it sent out a message, Paul, that we had absolutely nothing to hide. You can, that you we, can we, we that were way, so yeah. calm. And when we've stated that with, with the UK politicians and I had to go over and meet they they said all said that was a, an incredibly smart move because it showed the Isle of Man wasn't a secretive okay. jurisdiction it was open transparent with nothing to hide and as a result of that the Jonathan Humphreys interview was deflated in yeah. a way because we said look we've got nothing to hide right. come on in we're going to do lots more with you it's going to be your weekend because we, we haven't seen you for so long got lots to catch right. up with, so there's yeah. going to be lots more on here yeah well I, I look forward obviously <laughs> unedited uh, it, if, if uh, you know, I might not get another chance for a while if you're going off on more trips, but I look forward to working with you, Paul. See, I leave that in as well. I could yeah. take that out, but I leave that in. <laughs>